So, microphones. There are so many of them to buy, and sometimes this can get quite overwhelming. As someone who has owned multiple XLR microphones, and somebody who just spent multiple hours looking through USB microphones to buy as a gift for somebody, I would say that I'm pretty qualified to talk on this topic. I was basically looking from the $0 to the $100 price range, and I was trying to see what I could do. And I ended up stumbling upon this little thing. There's the Raisin Siren Mini, which is so tiny has pretty nice audio though. There's the Blue Snowball, which is around 40, 70, depending on what version you get. Also nice microphone, but the size is, it's terrible. You can't put a pop filter on that. And the options that are on Amazon, terrible. And as you can see, this microphone sounds pretty nice. In fact, it probably sounds a lot better than any other reviews that you have watched using this microphone. Because there is one thing that a lot of people don't know about, and that is something called the proximity effect. Basically, it states the closer to a microphone you are, the better it will sound. A unless you're like right up on it. So when you're using these types of microphones, you want to be as close to them as you possibly can without the sound getting muffled. And that will hire the ratio of your voice compared to the background noises so you'll hear less of the keyboard and more of just your voice because you'll be closer to it it will be focused on picking just your voice up and on that note this is a condenser microphone uh, there's two types of microphones for those of you who don't know probably if you're looking into a $60 USB mic you probably don't know there are condenser microphones dynamic microphones condenser microphones will give you a more warm natural sounding tone but it will in effect pick up way more reverb and background noises this microphone is a condenser microphone dynamic microphones will give you more of a muffled but deeper sounding voice and it will cut out a lot of the background noise and also a lot of reverb so if you don't have like a sound treated room at all they're often very helpful and i feel like that steers people away from condenser microphones a lot when like it's not necessary like i use condenser microphones my whole life ever since i came out of the womb i was i was holding an at 2020 but like i use the blue yeti the at 2020 i recently got a sure sm7b which is a dynamic microphone and i didn't like how it sounded on my voice i honestly prefer this microphone and that is a $400 microphone, the Shure SM7B. So you definitely want to make sure you're getting the right type of mic for your voice. But in general, most voices will sound better on a condenser microphone. But there's some people just like if you're doing voiceovers, streaming, whatever, your voice will sound more natural on a dynamic microphone. Basically what I'm saying, whatever microphone you get, make sure there's a return policy. <laughs> the microphone itself is a nice shape and it has a nice red light in the front of it, which is a really nice addition. Both the body and the grill seem to be made out of a uh, metal and it's a light microphone but it feels high quality it has no shock mount system built into it which is something we're starting to see more and more in microphones so that is something you'd want to consider uh, when typing at your keyboard, whatever, you might need a shock mount. Here's a test as if I was just recording a regular stream and uh, typing on my keyboard. I have blue switches. So you're going to start to hear how much of that it kind of picks up and you can hear how much of it it picks up compared to my voice. It also has a nice mute button on the top of it, which I think is just a nice addition that you can just... Boop, and it's muted but overall a pretty simple sleek looking microphone and i'm all for it i thought it would look really stupid on stands because of how small it is but it actually looks quite nice one thing to note it did not come with this pop filter it actually doesn't come with any sort of pop filter but this pop filter is labeled online as being for this microphone but when it comes in the package it kind of has nothing to do with this microphone but nevertheless it's a good pop filter it's like double layered mesh it's nice and small so it's not taking up too much room so if you need a pop filter for this microphone go for this one i will not be keeping this mic i bought it as a gift for my friend so uh i figured i'd do a little review on it might as well because i'm not so sure when this microphone was released but i really just have not heard of it until the other day like it's by Hi HyperX. they have the quadcast the quadcast s like everyone's heard of those who's looked for streaming microphones but solo cast i don't know i've just never heard of it maybe that's just me but whatever it is it's it's a hidden gem only 60 dollars and before i end this review i do like to show what the microphone can sound like edited uh, for editing, I add a bass boost, a treble boost, and then a low roll-off, and, and then I limit it, maybe compress it, and... 
that's about it. Now that may sound really complicated and you may think I have no idea how to do that, but I have a video you can check out how you can do it with Audacity for really easy, which is a completely free program, so go check it out. Um, but yeah, with editing, the microphone will sound like this. So I don't know how the microphone sounded before, but um, it will sound probably much better now, much deeper, much more clarity. That's just the difference between not editing and editing your audio. I mean, it's definitely recommended. Uh, I do it for all my videos. And uh, if you don't edit your audio already, maybe you don't even need to upgrade your mic. Maybe you can get it to work for now. And for $60, I've had many USB microphones sent to me before, uh, all sent off Amazon, these a bunch of random companies, and they were nice microphones, but they just all looked very generic and they just didn't didn't look that sleek and they I don't know a lot of them are just the same microphones that they bought from Chinese factories but this is a uh a well well produced microphone that was just thought out and meant for the streaming industry for sixty dollars you don't you don't really get anything that looks this sleek and sounds this good I mean I was shocked when I plugged in the microphone for the first time. But with all that being said, I hope that you can make yourself a very thoughtful purchase and one that you will not regret. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more content like this and besides that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!